Hello y'all, welcome to part 3 of my Socialist Republic of Italy Mussolini Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron for Mod Kaiser Redux. In part 2 we got ourselves into a war with the Italian Federation and also captured the great city of Rome. And right now we're going to continue our offensive into enemy territory, which is going quite well, honestly. So push here, take Livorno, just surround these divisions overall, move in please, surround them, make sure I don't have no escape from our troops, they may actually get an escape. Oh come on, now we're being attacked by the neo Sevadisti, which can be described as Catholic insurgents that are against the government of Benito Mussolini. He's very big into state atheism in this mod, like his government is very much into that. By, if you can just, by looking at this focus here, he is very much against Catholicism. So keep attacking the Italian Federation. We must defeat its leader, the Pope Stephen X, or Stephen X. Just defeat them, push forward here, capture more territory, keep advancing, don't stop. Be as aggressive as possible, please, honestly. There's a factory bombed in Apulia. That is concerning, the neo Sevadisti are behind it. There's some event about an opera, I think. So keep attacking, though, get it done. And the Cuban People's Republic is now fighting Georgia for whatever reason. Just push forward. I may need a new offensive line soon. Yeah, we're going to capture Florence, though. Get that done. Giovanni Messi. Giovanni Messi is wounded. He's our general. Really keep pushing here, though. Be aggressive. Be as aggressive as possible. Overwhelm their lines. Get more divisions made. Deploy these guys. Revolutionary Commissars has been researched. Well, I mean, we got the focus done. What am I saying? That's not a. F that's not technology. That's just a focus. Complete cement chairman's power, and that will get rid of a national spirit called divided nation, and also give us some decision thing called begin the cultural revolution, and we'll get an event. So cement chairman's power will be done in like 42 days. Keep pushing though. They have so many divisions. My goodness. Well, to be fair, we outnumber them. I think. Plus, they keep having units defend the border with France, even though we have no intention to call in our ally the commune of France. They're probably only guarding the border because they're aware we're part of the same faction as they are. So keep pushing forward. Now let me go ahead and redo this offensive line because this is just, it's not working. And if just assistance arrives or something like that, get this offensive line drawn up. Serbia crowns King Alexander II, good for them. Push here, get Milan, that's not right. Fix this offensive line, go. Come on, push all the way up to Austrian Venice. Push forward now, don't stop until we win for the Italian National Social State. That's what it's called, the Italian National Social State. And Turkestan's now fighting someone. Get improved machine tools. Are they fighting Russia? Uh, I think they are, yes. I'm not sure if that's going to end well, but they're going to attempt it. Yeah, that is not going to, probably going to go over too well. Keep pushing though. We've captured Florence. They put more of a pretty decent front line up against us. It's just that we still outnumber them no matter what. And they still have, like, what, five divisions on the border with the French? If they moved them in, this could be going better for them. They've lost, like, half their country now. And how many victory points do they even still have? They have, they control 60% of their victory points, so that's not too bad. But they lost Rome, they've lost a couple states, so they've lost quite a bit of their industry and their manpower. So as long as we can keep going on the attack, that's what we need, so keep pushing here. And the FOP request manpower, what is the FOP? The workers from Patagonia, oh, they're too far away. Actually, we, we will send manpower, yes. And merging the post of president and chairman. Today, Chairman Mussolini has made a bold announcement on the steps of the congressional building, stating that if we are to achieve true revolution and ensure the security and stability of the Republic, we must break away the shackles of oligarchic par parliamentarianism and hand the reins of government over to a strong leader you can defend socialism from pseudo-capitalist forces in our government. Just before this announcement, the former president of the National Congress, Michel Bianchi, had seemingly disappeared. With no one to prevent him, Benito Mussolini has decided to merge the post of president and chairman, effectively giving him unlimited control of the government. I am the Congress, and keep pushing here. So now, well, we have, from this event, we'll get 20 political power. Totalism will become a lot more popular. Actually, we'll get 120 political power, what am I saying? We'll also get, like, a new head of state or something. I don't know. But now, Benito Mussolini made the past president of the Congress disappear. I bet he had him, I don't know, assassinated, maybe. I don't know. But either way, this is Benito Mussolini's country now. And just his. So keep pushing forward. 
and overwhelm these troops. We have some tanks, in fact, here. That's not going to be enough to stop us, though. We have plenty of soldiers. And now I need this division here to deploy them. Keep sending out new divisions to fight. And just overwhelm, just take out the Italian Federation to keep trying to hold us back. They're failing, though. We're running out of equipment that we keep pushing so hard. Good news is that they're probably having equipment issues also. I'm hoping they are anyway. Just keep pushing here and keep advancing. I need more factories, really. I do. Yeah, that could help us out. But now i got to select another national focus. Let us do, say, some military focuses here. What can give us military factories? Actually, let me see. I don't know if I can even get any military factories. But do centralized command for a cost reduction for land doctrine. That could help us out a little bit, I guess. Keep pushing. And Finland joined the Reich's Pact. Okay, then. And why can we not just break through? Come on, get it done. Smash through their lines. We took a province, I think. The enemy's trying to go on the offensive. It's not working out. They're trying to retake something they lost. That is, yeah, that's not going to go well for them. Let me just stop for a little bit. Just pause the offensive. Give our divisions a little bit more time to breathe, perhaps. And then we'll go on the offensive again soon enough. And then we can have our victory against the Italian Federation. Who's already, they're already on the defensive anyway. There's no reason to just like exhaust ourselves to the point of death. We need more equipment. We just need to take a break in the push. The logistics just cannot allow us to push forward. We don't have enough equipment in the, well, in the stockpile. We need so many more guns. So, I don't know. Let me see here. Reinforcements, upgrades. Oh my goodness. Improved machine tools has been researched. Good. And now let us research something else like construction too, since that's always useful to have. Keep pushing here since it seems like we can break through the worker priest movement. Interesting. So we've stopped advancing, and the enemy is now going to have the time to reinforce their lines or just entrench themselves, which is going to be an issue. Do we keep attacking? I don't know. I wanted to stop and just let my army have a break for a little bit. Modified officer corps. We don't even have an army command focus. Go with army focus offensive, and let's get ready to go again once we have enough organization or. Yeah, now the the American Civil War, the Second American Civil War has started. That is going on over in the USA. So let's push now again. Overwhelm them, come on, centralized command is done. Good. And Republicans win the Greek referendum. Interesting. But now let us get the focus integrate the Red Guards completed. And that will affect our Red Army National Spirit right here by giving it well giving us less division training time, more army experience gain and fast, well, better organization, better planning speed, well, faster planning speed, and higher max planning overall. So keep pushing here. Come on, overwhelm these units in this province and marches. Just capture it for the Italian National Social State. We want that victory there. Now let us research this, or no, that's way too far ahead. Let's go to Industry Tech, get concentrated Industry 2. Radio is done. Great. So let's get Fighter, I suppose, Fiat G50. Get that researched and let us now also get maybe computing machine done the 1937 spark decade takes place or whatever keep pushing here come on they don't have that much time to get divisions out i don't think they do anyway and christian associations of italian workers whatever and the north caucasian states are going to fight georgia aren't they fighting the cuban people's republic yes they're fighting on two fronts and canada is now at war with panama and Costa Rica joining Anton, so that doesn't sound too good for Panama at all. And 1937 championship between Bari and Naples. Okay then. And let's go to superior firepower. Unlock delay. So keep pushing here. Naples wins. Good for Naples. Overwhelm these soldiers, please. We need more equipment so badly. Or actually, no, we're fine. The founder of Cincinnata. What is this about? Oh, let me read this. It's relating to Benito Mussolini, so I might as well read it. Come on, I need to get out of these events though. Outcome of the Spartacade, we lost some base stability for whatever reason. Anyway, Benito Mussolini unveiled the opening of Cincinnata today outside the city of Naples. Cincinnata was planned by numerous architects to be less of a film studio and more of a small cinema city. Mussolini himself was quoted as saying, During the opening of the studio, cinema is the most powerful weapon against capitalism. Many aspiring filmmakers are already speaking with the unions of the area to see about producing films there while some are already calling it Hollywood on the Arno. And now, that is, yeah, so we got 20 political power from that event. Keep pushing forward, though. 
and the Sardom has been restored, apparently. That is in the Russian... Yeah, I guess that's in Russia. Yeah, the Russian Empire is a thing once more. And they're led by Roman the First. Interesting. And who are they helping? They're helping out someone. They're helping out the AUS in the American Civil War. Very interesting. So keep pushing forward. Come on, we need more divisions, maybe. I don't know. Just need more soldiers. We don't have enough equipment. End of the 1937 Spartacade. Interesting. Well, that's something, I guess. Get this division up here. Do we stop advancing? The enemy is clearly not making the... Well, they're just... They're not exactly falling as fast as I would like them to. Integrate the Red Guards is done. Now let's complete Dissolve the Guards. And that will give us more planning speed and more... Well, faster division training time. The Tsardom unites Russia. Did they get Transamir? Senegalist revolutionaries in Switzerland. Did they get Transamir? They did, yeah. Huh. So, Russia. That's a big Russia. And let us now get some... Get some Lindley's here. Futuristic architecture. That's not... Yeah, futuristic architecture. This is the greatest absurdity of modern architecture. It is perpetuated by the greedy company... The greedy, the greedy complicity of ac academies, internment camps, or the intelligentista, where the young are forced to recopy classic models, are nastically instead of straining their imaginations to search for solutions to new and urgent problems. The futurist house and city. A house and city spiritually and materially our own, in which our own riot riotous activity can rage without seeming a grotesque, grotesque anarchism. So reads the Futurist Manifesto of Architecture. Futurism as an architectural movement has recently been highly popular among the Uni Nationalista. Mussolini in particular is a noted patron of architect buildings in that style. The future is now. So we have national syndicalism, futurism, and I guess Mussolini holding all the power in the Italian national social state. And that's just some characteristics of this country at this point. I keep pushing here, overwhelm these units, come on, the 1937 Dutch elections have occurred. Overwhelm them, don't stop. Come on, go. I want to break your, get, use force attack or something. I need this, I, I am running out of manpower, this is not going well. Yeah, we're winning, but it's just not as fast as I would like. I need to take advantage of any, any breakthroughs we can get. Doctrine's available, let's now unlock. Sweden joined the Reichs, Pagmaw, Kleegs, fighting Tibet. Unlock mobile defense. Okay, now. Get some Lindley, some Canada. Thank you, Canada. Push through here. Come on. I am running low on manpower. We probably lost a lot more divisions than they have. I mean, manpower in general. Yeah, let's look at the casualties. We've taken 89k. They've taken 37k. So it is, that just gives you an idea of how many wounded we have. So push here. Go. Break through. Come on. They're trying to push us back. Use force attack or something. Break through here. Get to Bologna. Capture that city. Then push on the Milan. If we can just take advantage of this breakthrough, that could be great. Just go. Ringleaders apprehended. The Neo-Samadisti have been dealt with. They, the Republican Guard got them or something. So the Spanish Civil War is over now. Keep pushing forward here with like six, no, seven divisions. Go forward. Come on, stop attacking us. Go. Keep attacking. Don't stop. Oh my goodness gracious. Go here more. Focus on them. What are you doing? No, focus here. Here. Go. Focus on that province. Just overwhelm them. They only have like two militia trying to stop seven divisions. My goodness. Do we need more soldiers? And what is this about? And this is some event here about culture, I think? The Italian Recreational and Cultural Association. Interesting. So keep pushing forward. And that is, huh, whatever. Just go in this province, then they're really focusing on defending that advance. That province south of Bologna. Dissolve the guards is done. Let us now complete officer training, maybe, or no. Let's complete prepare for liberation instead. Get that done. Push here. They're just, they gotta run out of troops eventually. I mean, they gotta just fall at some point. We have too many soldiers. You'd think they would fall. They'll have to just be defeated soon enough. Peru is now fighting Ecuador over something over land, probably. So push here, overwhelm these units. Only one division in the way. Take advantage of that. Come on, push here, get to Bologna. There's only so many divisions they have to fight us. Take advantage of that. Push to Modena. Get to Modena. Get to Modena. Come stop. No, get to Modena. Capture Modena. Medina, get Spazia also. Capture that city and move forward. Don't stop advancing. Keep pushing. Just overwhelm them with whatever we have and cut their country in half. Please. So we captured that. Now move on Genoa. And that, actually, no, they're going to stop us from capturing Genoa. Move on this province instead. Capture Parma. 
Get that done. They're going already attacking us. Okay, that is annoying. Use force attack though. Deploy this division now. And can I up my economy? Yes, go to war economy now. Get that done. Keep pushing. We have I feel so close to victory, but yet so far away from it. Get to Milan. Okay, actually wait, wait, wait. Go to Milan. Capture Milan. That's gonna be no one there defending it. Take advantage of that. Weakness in their lines. And we can capture Milan, and that maybe could be it. I don't know. It may not be. We may have to capture Thurin, which could be an issue, because they had the bulk of their troops there. And there's some Congress event in the Mozambique Bush War is taking place, and that's going on in Africa. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. Use force attack. Ringleaders are apprehended or something like that. We captured Milan. Push here. And now we have some military factories for us. And so now the new capital of... Oh, now they're defending Bologna to the last man or something. How many victory points do they have left? The Kingdom of Italy, so Stephen the Tenth, or, yeah. He revived the Italian monarchy. He put a Savoy back in power, I think. Maybe that's what he did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. But with that said, we're so close to beating the Italian Federation. But I'm going to end what is part three of my Socialist Republic of Italy Mussolini Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.